Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to I Loaf You. Today, we are going to be making some pumpkin molasses cookies. Um, I'm going to just jump right in, and we will get started. The first thing you just want to make sure is that before you get started, just take your one stick of butter, if you're doing a single batch, out of the refrigerator for about an hour or so just to warm up. That way it's easier to work with with your mixer or if you're mixing by hand. Um, but we will just jump right in. All right, so to start with, I have our mixer with our paddle attachment on it. I'm going to just add our stick of softened room temperature butter. And we're just gonna blend this up and we are going to gradually add in our granulated sugar, molasses, and our pumpkin puree as well. Now if you have egg issues, like an egg intolerance, you can't have your eggs. This is a recipe that does not have eggs, as well as could easily be substituted to have gluten-free all-purpose flour used, which would make these a great gluten-free option for a nice fall dessert. All right, so we are going to jump right in and get this mixing and get our next ingredients added. So now we are just going to scoop out our cookies. You can either use a spoon and roll these by hand, or I am using this one doesn't have a number on it. This one is just a small portion scoop, about small cookie size. This will maybe about two tablespoons size. So I'm just going to scoop it out, if you have a scoop, into your granulated sugar. And then we are going to toss them and roll them, which is why we're wearing gloves, just so we don't make a mess. And then I press them down when I bake them. However, you don't have to do that. 
but you do just want to make sure you get them coated in the sugar and then I roll them and this sheet tray which is a normal size cookie sheet will fit um, four by three so it will fit 12 So now before these go in the oven, I like to just press down gently with a fork. I do one line, rotate the fork and cross hatch them. This just gives them a cool pattern when they come out of the oven and they're not as tall. These do not spread very much in the oven, so you do need to press them down somehow, whether you press them with a fork or press them down with your fingers. Either way will work. 